Kwa. So we have in studio Akusia Otre, who brought us that story from the Salaga market where traders are threatening to boycott if the market is not fixed for them. Akusia, thank you for joining us on Sunday Breakfast. It's, it's a pleasure being here. I, I thought by the time I come, some cocoa will be... We'll be ready we for you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So oh, oh, don't do it. Is, 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 you see the way we call you. I mean, viewers yeah. don't know, but is it the name we call you? We wanted to put together some it's English brief. English but I had Fufu before coming. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> if Fufu need you, tell him. You know what it means. I know what does that mean. Fufu are the Yeah, it was, it was great. It was so. No, but according to the, the registered dietitian uh -huh. we had, it's uh -huh. actually okay. But it depends, in the yeah, yes. it depends oh. on the quantity and whether you had it with vegetables. So how big was it? Oh, like my fist. It wasn't <laughs> like <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. I, I sure don't you didn't pick the, it. I think she picked, like, she picked me up from the so previous that. interview. <laughs> Did you get the full star from the Salaga markets though? No. You didn't get it from the Salaga markets. <laughs> There's nothing market. going on there, so where am I going I to I can't imagine. Do I do better? You understand? What is that? Mean? Mean? <laughs> if, is it a fool? Yeah. If I'm a fool, it's fun. Because someone knows the market. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's Give the us state? a background. Mm. Yeah. Give us a background to the story. So rightly, as the Greater Accra Regional Minister said, Salaga, the people, the, the folks call it Sala Market. Mm -hmm. So like he said, it was named after a, a market in the Savannah region, That's Salaga the, Market. The, the Salaga Slave Market. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very um, old market. It's mm -hmm. an ancient market. Uh, they used to bring in goods from the northern part of the country to uh, Sala Market to sell to the people. And largely was known for its cheap prices. Mm. So before you would go to Accra or you know those Makola areas, before you go there to shop for food stuff, you think twice trying mm. to weigh the prices. Yeah. And people were going to slab markets because you would get cassava ten uh, tubes for um, let's say ten cities, and that was relatively cheap. And so a lot of people were coming. Mm. And me saying that it was an ancient uh, market, those days during the slave trade mm. era, they used to bring, you know, it's very close to, so for the purposes of those who don't know where the slab market is, mm. it's in the center of the Gamashi area. Oh, okay. That's just like three minutes walk away from the general post office. Mm. Okay. So a lot of people living around those areas were having access to the place, you know, easily. And we don't have to go all the way to Accra to go and shop. And it's also close to the Asha Fort. Mm. So the slave masters were bringing in the, the slaves. They look at uh, what work you can do and all that. And they use them to, to uh, I don't know how to put it, but that was where they were using them to work. Oh, okay. So you come there and you work and then you go back to the Asha Fort. Mm. So that's how uh, the slave trade activity was ongoing there. So if you look in the report, you see this monument there. Yeah. Uh, very significant, you know, structure or edifice that has been put there with some inscriptions by the, the slaves. And, you know, it used to be a tourist Sorry. attraction too. Mm -hmm. Yes. So a lot of people were not just coming there to buy or sell. They were coming there to take pictures mm. in front of the monuments mm. as well. The, the so, one in the Savannah region is still a, a huge exactly. tourist attraction. Exactly. Only that we've not really utilized this, this, this tourist Exactly. Potential. But you can't say the same for, for the, 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 the Salada market. Yes. The, 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 the yes. Now you, 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 you can have access to the place, mm. but it's not for its in, uh, intended purpose. So going there to trade or going there to. Those I saw there were either going there to. Uh, difficult, excuse me to say, some were going there to sleep, like you saw, others mm. have been turned there into their own, you know, mm. homes. Some, I, I saw a man who had this wardrobe, just say, he's, he's, <laughs> he's arranged his shoes he's at one joking. side, he's, 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 stays, he's not joking, he yeah, yeah, they live there, that's, it, it's like their new home. Right. Both females and then male. Unfortunately, the females in Allah take videos of them. Mm. Okay. But you see the females there, you see the males, take, some taking their shower, the children coming in there to play. Mm. Animals all over the place, defecating, some doing their own thing. You know, it's, it's a very terrible state. Now, 20 years ago, the, the markets 
began to deteriorate. You know, the, uh, how do you call it, the ceilings, mm. the roofings began falling off. That's the old site. The old site mm. began falling off. The walls were developing some cracks and all of that. And so in, in just before the 2016 election, mm. that was um, in John Mohammed's time, mm. he said that, you know what, you know the campaigns, when they go on the grounds, the politicians, mm. they visit the area folks, they ask the chiefs and the people what really you, want, you want, what are your problems, what are your issues. Then the, in, in, in 2014, 2015, the NDC administration visited the place and the people said, you know what, this slum market has been here for years. Now we can't contain it anymore because when it rains, it flats. And so can you do something about it? The NDC administration felt that, yes, you've suffered for long. So let's draw up a plan and see what we can do. So the first thing that came to mind for the NDC was to pull down the structure mm. to make way for the new one. And so they began the demolition. Mm. Half of the building was pulled down. But there's a fish market in there. That, that, that structure is well established. Mm. It's still there. Mm. It, it has this pink painting. Yeah. That one, it wasn't pulled down. Mm. But the structure around it, the, the one that contained the market sellers, the, the one that they've not demolished is for the fishmongers. But the ones where you find the vegetables being sold and all other goods, that one was pulled down to the ground, some part of it in the NDC administration. They were not able to finish. And then the NPP came to power, 2016, mm. President Akufuado. He vowed that he was going to do something about it. Mm. And indeed, we'll give them their stone. They, they, they pulled down the rest of the structures <laughs> that mm. was not been able to be demolished by the mm. NDC administration. And that was led by uh, the AMA, AMA yeah. at that time, Mohammed, AMA, Nia Jesua. Nia Jesua, and then Koda. Mm. Uh, uh, Jerry, Jeremiah Jerry. Shab. Exactly. So it was led by them. We covered that report, CTFM, at that time. We covered that report. It was pulled down. And then uh, they said, okay, we're also going to pull, we're also going to bring up a new Put structure. A new structure. Mm. Yes. And somehow they were able to, you know, do something like mm. you're seeing where the squatters are living. Mm. All that structure was put up by the MPP government. Mm. Mm. That one they did very well. They um, started putting the iron rods, you know, mm. putting up the, the pillars and all that. You mm. see construction ongoing because President Okufado in 2016, his manifesto, he said that um, he was going to give $1 million to every constituency, if you yeah. remember. And they vowed that in that particular oh, do, 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 do. they were going to use part of the one million dollars to, to fix finish it. the, uh, the project. Uh, let, let me ask you, so after going there and interviewing the Greater Accra Regional Minister, do you get a sense as to when this project would recommence? Because if I get you correctly, 2016 was when the former president announced that his government was going to do something about it. It didn't happen. The incumbent president. Then now Nanado comes on board. The AMA and the Coastal Development Authority also announced, heading into the 2020 election, that they were going to fix anything about it. Now we are heading into another election, I mean, cycle. And it's come up again. I've seen the traders. I think the traders even protested some time ago. Yeah. When, yeah. you, when you speak to, when you spoke to the, the minister, do you get a sense as to when government was going to commit some, some okay. funds into the so project? So before again? I come to that, uh, let me talk about the protest, mm. the, the other protests that the traders had. So when they started putting up the new structure, mm. some of the market women had doubts as to whether they were going to get, um, should I call it portions, or they were going to be uh, moved to the new market if it was constructed. So a lot of them were like, you know what, the new, the place that you have given to us, that's mm. the London, there's a market called London Market. Yeah. When they evicted them to pull down the structures, that was where they took them to the London Market. Some of them felt that if we are in the London Market and we, we set up our shops and we are okay, when they finish the new market, they will not give us uh, <laughs> uh, our shops or our stores. Mm. So you know what, some of them, she would say, I'm from Wadri. Mm -hmm. And they moved to the streets so that, you know, that's pity, you know, yeah. you, you, you will find pity on them and then you'll be able to give them mm. the structure when you finish 
before you complete the so, new market. And they are moving to the street has now caused other problems, I believe, because we understand exactly. the report. We saw traffic getting worse there. The inner roads. Sanitation. Terrible. terrible. Hygiene. Terrible. And like, so they don't even have a place of convenience, right? Not at all. And they use their same hands and everything after easing themselves to sell food for us. Did, did you see mm. some of those scenes? I saw it. So that particular area, mm. it's not just the market that has a problem. It's the entire area. Mm. Parking is a problem, especially weekends. Wow. Can In imagine. the Ghana area, mm. they are organizing a funeral service. And Eno, before you drive out, now I pray, <laughs> because they'll block the roads. Yeah. So it's not just the market. Mm. And the traders, too, have moved to the market. When you stand on the, the main road, you see the way they've lined up. And mm. it's very terrible. Sanitation don't even go there. And, and the, high, the general the stench, hygiene. Where, where, where are they, you know, for lack of a better word, going to the toilets? Where? I didn't ask. Okay. But I know that the homes around, not everybody has a, mm. a toilet facility in their homes. Mm. And they don't have... So I'm not sure like if you have the toilets in the area. Or you wouldn't Maybe know. they have public toilets, but as to whether people have in their homes mm. and all of that. And I'm sure that's the place the market women also mm. uh, cool. use. Yes. So th that one, it's, it's, high, it's a whole conversation. It's a whole conversation. Well. So it's a, it's, a, it's a infrastructure problem yes. that has now first become a traffic concern, exactly. a road problem, mm. and a sanitation issue, exactly. and a hygiene you want to add. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. incredible and stuff. And then to the question about if it's going to be uh, completed. Mm. If you ask me, I'll say, I don't think it will be completed because listening to the regional minister, it's about funding for mm. the project. This $1 million I talked about that the NPP administration vowed that they were going to use some monies to, it never, we never saw the $1 million. <laughs> That's what the, 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 the residents see. Mm. Information I picked up from the assemblyman as well. But they never got the $1 million and they don't know when or which money they are going to use mm. to do that. In 2016, the then Smith boss, mm. um, Ernest Thompson, went into an agreement with AMA Koda that they were going to make some tra transactions or payments mm. to be able to aid them to complete this particular project. But the, the Smith boss did not ensure that, or did not make that payment, or did not ensure that the payment was done. And so, that, there's that issue of fund, a funding gap it's, existing. It's, it's wow, something incredible. that I, I don't think they would get the funds to do it as Any we moment speak. From now. Maybe later. And you know, you know what's for me is very disappointing in this, right? So for the past seven years, right, we've had three different people head our national development planning commission, mm -hmm. right? So in 2015, 16, we had Dr. Nimoy Thompson, Thompson from the yeah. NDC, then Nanado Wind Power. Then, so it was Nimoy Thompson and Professor Kwesi Buchi. And that all went par. Then we had Professor Stephen Ade. Mm -hmm. He came up with his own, um, he came up with his right. own development plan, um, yeah. right? And of course, Nimoy Thompson also under the NDC had their development plan. Then 2024, Dr. Isiem um, mm -hmm. Mensa Abrampa, yeah. right? Who was the, the NDPC CEO, yeah. also comes up with the development plan. So, and see, in that development plans we've seen across this administration, seven or three in the past seven years, there's no avenue for continuation right. of stalled projects, right? Exactly. So somebody comes, then they start their own projects, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, political parties exist to win political power to come mm -hmm. into office. Mm -hmm. And they come based on their own ideologies. And you'd argue and say, well, Per my ideology, I don't believe we do this thing in a certain way. But then again, the point, in my opinion, and in my respectful view, is that if you look at certain basic infrastructure, such as hospital, schools. market spaces, schools, um, um, a proper lorry stations and all of that, it, it doesn't really matter your, your, your standing on the political spectrum, whether you are left so or whether you are right. Exactly. Or whether you are the striker like Cheddar, Cheddar Hood, like you say. The, the point is that basic development should be met. And I'm of the view that, for instance, the National Development Planning Commission should have a component within whatever plan they are working with to say that we are going to commit to ensure that all stored projects are completed. Because I believe in 2016, 
when President Mahama, for example, announced that he was going to do, there would have probably been a, a, a roadmap or a strategy yeah, in was. place yeah. or some funding mechanism to ensure it is realized, right? So if after 2016, 2024, we are still in the same problem, then it's a, then it's a huge problem. I, I quite recall in 2207, mm -hmm. there were stories around the Salaga market. At that time, the mayor was Stanley Drew Blankson, mm -hmm. and, and he was talking about moving them. So you, you get a sense that conversations around started it started years ago. Started years ago. Yeah. And, and so it is quite disappointing for me and very shocking. Speaking about planning uh, all of these, mm. you know, in 2016, Koda stands on IPEP, that's the Infrastructure for Poverty Eradication mm. uh, 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 Program, yeah. to do some of these things. Mm. And they said that they were going to stand on IPEP to make sure that they complete this particular project. It's, it's been in their plan, even AMA. So, you know, this structure is directly under Koda, mm. and then AMA comes in. Mm. Uh, As a way it's to, in to their support, yeah. Exactly. So, they stood on this IPEP to say that we are going to do this. And so now we've not been able to see anything. You spoke yeah. about Mohammed's administration that they had a plan in funding. I can say that they had a plan, mm. the drawing and all of that, because I have seen it. But mm. I, I don't know if they had any funding source to, to make to, it to sorted. Make this but then I would ask, if they didn't have a funding source, why pull the structure down? <laughs> exactly. You see, <laughs> it's a make good it make question. Sense. It's a good question. But you see, sometimes you need to appeal to the people. Or you need to give them some sort of assurance. So you pull yeah, it but down because without pulling it down to, without you, a clear a clear plan you, for rebuild. You have to give it's them not that, that kind of assurance that you look at the voting pattern for the, 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 the largely they've been voting for the NDC. Mm. And so it, it will it will not make sense to come not, and ask the people, oh, what do you want? And then they tell you want a market to be to be completed. Yeah. And then you don't do anything at all. Mm. So, so, now, so they needed to start, right? So that I'm running a court. The sure time is fleeting. Was, so. so now the traders are saying that they're not going to vote. Yes, they have said that if they don't see this come to mm -hmm. a reality, they are not going to partake We're in the election. In July. But this is something they've been saying for years. Mm. But they still end up voting. Mm. Anyway. But what did the regional minister say to that? Well, he didn't respond. Uh, respond, respond. Sorry to okay. the election. Um, Threat. Uh, threats, but he said that look, we will make sure that this is completed. It, that the, is all he's going the to do. Same old oh, he's the right. minister, Please. so it, there's it, a lot on the table. It, it, it's the same old rhetoric, and like that I'm one. saying, you know, see, in seven years, in the last seven years, we've had three development plans, right? From mm -hmm. like I said, from Dr. Nimoy Thompson to Professor Stephen Adai and Dr. Mm -hmm. Kojo Isiam yeah. Abraham Pamensa, who recently passed away. May so rest in peace. The last one is the vision. 2057. Yeah. And my, my simple take on this matter is that let's put in place a proper, efficient system where stalled projects of a previous administration is, is completed. Because yeah. there are so many of them. Not too long ago, Philip did one of a school somewhere. Yes. Like, it's, it's, it's in the There's same so area. There are so many of them. So what's the point of a National Development Planning Commission if very simple development oriented initiatives like this can be can be figured out. The Simpe School is very sad. I, I think the next time we should the, focus on that the, one too as well. They it has been about that issue, issue for yeah, years yes, and it's, it's so like devastating that. really. Yes. Akosia, yeah, it's been lovely having you. Thank you so a, much. We had a yellow dress and then you also came in Please. in a yellow outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to bring the Koko because I've not so, had Koko in years. I have you on that one. Yes. So the next time we bring English breakfast with calamari. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for coming yeah, I know also. how your yeah. church is important to you. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm going to sing in church. Mm. So. Go and pray for us. Thank All you. right. Thank you so much, Akosia <laughs> Archery, for that um, compelling explanation of your Salaga report.